half of Jamaica is getting this wrong, and it's costing millions. From Kingston's rising towers to highways in St. Thomas, people keep saying they are pouring cement. But most of them aren't. Here's the real question, however. What's actually holding Jamaica together? Cement or concrete? Stay with us, because this mix-up is bigger than you think. And the truth could change how you see every road, bridge, and home across the island. The great mix-up, the flour, and the cake. Every mason, every contractor, and even some homeowners use the word cement for everything. But cement is not the thing you walk on. It's the ingredient. Think of baking. Flour makes the cake, but flour itself is not cake. Cement is the flour, a fine gray powder that binds things together. Concrete is the finished cake, a strong mix of cement, sand, gravel, and water. And that little difference, it decides whether your foundation lasts 50 years or five. What cement really is? From rock to powder, cement starts in Jamaica's hills. Limestone and clay are blasted, crushed, and heated in kilns so hot, around 1 450 degrees Celsius, they can melt steel. At those temperatures, the rock changes forever, forming marble-like balls called clinker. When cooled and ground with a pinch of gypsum, it becomes cement, so fine that one pound holds more than 150 billion grains. It's this magical powder that reacts with water and locks sand and stone into one solid body. At Rockfort, the Caribbean Cement Company Limited, part of the global Cemex Group, produces millions of tons each year. A recent US $40 million expansion will boost its capacity by 30%. This is the lifeblood of Jamaica's building boom. Concrete, the mix that builds the world. At water, sand and stone, and cement becomes something far greater. Concrete, it's the second most used substance on Earth after water itself. Each grain of sand and rock gets coated with the cement paste. Then a chemical reaction, called hydration, turns the liquid into stone. This isn't drying. Concrete doesn't dry out. It cures. It hardens because water and cement react to form a glue called calcium silicate hydrate, or CSH. That microscopic glue is what holds up your house, the Mona Dam wall, and even the pillars of Highway 2000. If this mix is so perfect, why are scientists racing to change it? The problem and the promise, a global view. Because making cement, just the powder, creates about 8% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. Half comes from the chemical process of heating limestone. The other half comes from burning fuel to reach those fiery temperatures. Yet, the world can't live without it. Over 4 billion tons of cement are produced every year, mostly in China. The global ready-mix concrete market is worth 1 trillion US dollars and could double by 2032. So scientists are searching for cleaner formulas using waste fuels, recycled materials, and even carbon capture technology that traps carbon dioxide before it escapes. Concrete, surprisingly, can also reabsorb carbon through a slow natural process called carbonation. It's the only man-made material that quietly breathes in some of the carbon it helped create. Jamaica's building boom. The real numbers. Look around, from Portmore's new housing schemes to Montego Bay's perimeter road, construction is everywhere. Yes, the Planning Institute of Jamaica reported a 2.4% dip in the sector for April to June 2024, linked to reduced government spending on the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project and fewer National Housing Trust starts. But look deeper. Economists expect construction GDP to reach around 33 billion US dollars between 2026 and 2027. Diaspora demand is fueling a wave of modern, eco-friendly housing, especially in St. James and Trelawney. 
The real story is transition, not decline. Old projects finishing while new ones rise. Lessons from the Caribbean. Across the region, the pattern is similar. The Dominican Republic and Cuba lead cement production, while Jamaica stands strong with 3.5 million tons per year. Still, about 68% of cement in Latin America and the Caribbean is sold in bags, mixed on site by hand. That means many homes depend on whoever mixes the bucket. Get the ratio wrong, too much water, too little cement, and walls crack before the paint dries. Better education about the mix is key to stronger, safer Caribbean housing. Myths that weaken our foundations. Let's set the record straight. Myth 1. Concrete dries to get hard. No, it hardens through chemical hydration. Myth 2. More water makes better concrete. No, too much water creates pores and weakens them. Myth 3. All cracks mean failure. No, small hairline cracks are normal as concrete settles. Myth 4. Adding extra cement makes it stronger. No, it often does the opposite. When you understand these truths, you build smarter, safer, and longer-lasting structures. The green future of building. Cement plants are changing fast. By mixing clinker with materials like calcined clay and limestone, new products can cut carbon dioxide by up to 40%. Caribbean cement is also burning less coal and more alternative fuels, from biomass to waste tires, a local win for cleaner energy. Globally, factories in Europe are testing full-scale carbon capture systems. The goal? Concrete that builds the world without breaking the planet. Bonus facts. Fact 1. Concrete gets stronger for decades as hydration continues. Fact 2. Parts of Jamaica's first concrete roads from the 1920s are still in use today. Fact 3. China pours more concrete every two years than the United States did in the entire 20th century. Fact 4. The Pantheon in Rome, nearly 2,000 years old, still stands because its ancient concrete mix was self-healing. So next time you hear someone say pour the cement, you will know better. Cement starts the story, but concrete builds Jamaica. If you believe stronger knowledge means stronger foundations, subscribe to this channel, Impacting Jamaica, and share this video with every builder, student, and dreamer you know. Our future is set in stone. But only if we mix it right.